Yes, yes, boys. Okay, we are here for another Darkener video, and this is a special video because the icon for the 350 million download celebration has been released. And everybody knows the icon always has the unit on it and the front from the super side of things. They never have the extreme one on. And this is the icon. So, yes, it is a Vegito unit, as you can see. Goku and Vegeta here with the Patara earrings on, signifying what is about to happen. And a lot of people honestly have been a bit angry, you know, some people a bit, a bit happy. And how do I feel? I am pretty hyped. I'm pretty hyped. Not because, oh yes, you get another Vegito, but because we have a chance of getting a Super Vegito, which honestly we've been needing for quite a long time now because this guy's okay. This guy's, you know, this guy needs a bit changing to be honest. This guy's not that hype. Even though he's not going to be these names anyways, but and also this guy isn't too good. So I feel like Super Vegito definitely does need a bit more variation in this game. You know, tech strength is definitely open. And we have never had a card which is Goku and Vegeta both in base form. They may make Vegeta Angel for this, but no base form for these guys. Whereas this one is Super Saiyan Goku and Super Saiyan Vegeta. So entirely different unit. And you know what? I think some of you guys need to really look and think. Did you honestly think they were going to do the Majin Buu celebration? The biggest part, which is the download celebration. With no Vegito? Like, of course they're going to throw Vegito in this. Vegito, come on guys. <laughs> Anyways, that is the discussion about that. I think it's going to be an amazing unit. Hopefully, hopefully, we get an active skill where they do scream the Yasha. And then it will be like the cleanest active skill in the game. Hopefully, if they ever do that. But... Now this gets us talking to what will the extreme unit be because we know for a fact it's going to be a boo unit. There will, there's nothing else it can really be but a boo unit. But the question is which boo because there's kid boo, there is you know boo Han, boo tanks, boo piccolo, normal super boos. There's so much options of what it can be. Probably not fat boo, probably not the fat boo. They've already done fat boo through this card. So, the Fat and Evil Boo have kind of been uh, done through this card essentially, so it has been done through the story. So, I'm thinking more either Boo Han, which is kind of good, I mean, this guy is nice. But honestly, I could easily see him getting replaced because even with his EZA, he's kind of outdated. Like, if he did this with changing orbs or something, maybe I could see him being really nice, but either a Boo Han or a Kid Boo. And now, the reason why I think we definitely could get another Kid Boo, and some people may be saying, but Kizan, Vegito never fought Kid Boo, so why would they ever do that? You know, why would you know why would you even see a Kid Boo in this? But you need to remember, guys. Let's look back to the last dual dock and fest that Global got for the um, whole Majibu saga, which was the Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta and Super Saiyan 2 Goku. Now, the reason why these two units are really important for my explanation here is because the Vegeta acts like normal. When Vegeta fought Goku, he was in Majin form. So, him being Super Saiyan 2 here kind of makes no sense because he was in Majin form from, you know, from the start. So, technically, this shouldn't, this shouldn't even exist, but this is just there for the transformation. And if you look at the Super Saiyan 2 Goku, he does not go Super Saiyan 3 in this fight versus Majin Vegeta. So this is after the fight, but these two are still on the same Dual Dokken Fest. Which means we have a chance of having a Kid Buu by himself, which would be kind of nice. Or we could have some iteration of Super Buu, maybe a Buu Han, or like a Buu Piccolo, or even Super Buu itself. But a unit that starts as that, and then maybe transforms into Kid Buu. Definitely think that's an option because honestly, I'll be okay with any type of Boo LR that they bring out because essentially he's been, he, he, even though I don't like him too much as a unit, he is an iconic villain from Dragon Ball and part of one of the biggest Dragon Ball sagas there is. 
Oh, come on. He needs that respect. But again, everybody did think they were going to give us like maybe a Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, Super Saiyan 3 Goku or something like that. You know, I don't know. That would definitely be a good unit for like maybe an exchange mechanic, maybe an active skill. But you never know what they're going to do with this card. Don't count it out until we see the unit. Because if you guys remember when the 5th anniversary was coming out and it got leaked, it was going to be a Vegito and Gogeta. Just, you know, Blue Gogeta, Blue Vegito. People weren't that happy, honestly. People were complaining about, oh, another Gogeta, another Vegito. And then they came out and we saw their animations and then, damn, <laughs> everybody's mind kind of changed a little bit. Which, you know, is to be expected. I mean, these units are crazy. Uh, but, like, so we have this unit here, which you know, don't think we can disambiguation this, but... Like, these units are kind of old as well when you think about it. Can I just disambiguation just these two guys themselves? Okay, yes, yeah, so. This unit here, this unit in particular, would be classed as something like this. This exact card, actually. This exact card, which is both of them here. Which is nice because, you know, no one's ever running this as an SSR. So this means this unit is going to be completely not clashing with anyone else's names. Because think about it. If they did make it just normal Super Vegito, which would have been nice. But then he'll be clashing just a little bit. Just a little bit of clash. But this gives them free reign. We don't know which type it's going to be. We don't know anything about the unit. And, you know, let's see how strong it is. Let's see how strong it is. The Boo one, I honestly, there's so much iterations. If it's a Super Boo, it could be different. Like, there's so much different iterations. I cannot guess the Kid Boo. But I will be also going over the... What the banner predictions a bit closer to the actual date. I think I will definitely be doing that. But yeah, so that's what I think, guys. I think it's guaranteed to either be Boo Han or Kid Boo for the extreme. And well, the super one has been shown, which is Vegito. And let me know in the comments, guys, what do you think of it being a Vegito unit? Are you happy because it's a Vegito unit? Because I think even some Team Vegito people are kind of annoyed. <laughs> some, but you got to think, remember, they base this off uh, JP Soy. So remember, JP got their LR Vegito and Gogeta about six months ago. I mean, it's a bit annoying for us since we go from Vegito to Vegito. Like, if you think about it, it went Vegito, then it went Goku Black, then it's gone Kessler, and now we're getting this. So we've gone four Patara units in a row, and I guess, you know, it's good to have a good Patara team, I guess. Anyways, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. Just a quick one to go over the news. If you do like that knock on content, please hit that like and subscribe. And you know what? I'll catch you on the next video in a bit, guys. And I'm bouncing out.